Guys, I've been having a lot of clients call me that are selling or thinking about potentially selling and asking me, Josh, is right now a good time to sell? Well, that's all relative and that's always gonna be you know, up to you and your family and you as an individual on exactly what you wanna do. But if you want me to give you the numbers, here's some stats. Um, and big thank you to one of my partners, Chicago Town, for giving me some of these numbers literally while I was here because I need them for this video. Um, <clears throat> let's just take a look at the last two months. Obviously everything hit you know, with the coronavirus in March and obviously you felt like there was gonna be a reflection of what was gonna happen in the market in April and in May. Well, let me tell you what, the coronavirus, especially in the real estate market here within Phoenix has been nothing, I don't wanna say but a blessing, but it has not stopped. The market's been even more hot than it was before the virus actually occurred here. Reason being can be for a number of reasons. Um, people wanna relocate here from other cities, that's usually always the biggest one, or they want to get out of the city. They see, I think that Arizona was opening up a little bit, whatever you want to call it. But here's some of the numbers. So <clears throat> we're going to use these stats, percentage of list price, days on market, average price and average inventory compared to last year. So for the month of April, sellers are getting 99.1% of list price. Pretty much you're getting what you're asking for. As soon as you put it on the market, as long as you price it right, you're going to get list price. Um, and then in May, 98.91%, same thing. Um, average days on market. <clears throat> for April, you had 47. For May, you have 45. I remember last year when uh, there was a point in time where average days on market was 87. We're cutting that in half right now. And just to give you, just to give you a little insight, if your house doesn't get an offer within two weeks, there's nothing wrong with the house. I promise you that. People always get scared and be like, Josh, what's wrong with my house? I was like, nothing. It's it takes, take, these things take time. These are big decisions that people have to make. But having a 47 and 45 day average, we don't have the numbers for March yet, or for June yet, because they haven't come out, but it's probably gonna be around the same thing. Your average sales price, in April you had 418,000, and May it decreased a little bit to uh, 397. Those are good prices. <clears throat> the average home price here within Phoenix, um, their sales is usually around 350. These are the price points you're getting. As you, as you see, you know, every year they're climbing up, usually around anywhere from like 20 to $30,000 on average, you know, for the average sales price. Uh, inventory, this has been a huge thing right now. We have a very, very limited amount of inventory comparative to last year. If you're a buyer in the market right now, if you and I are working together, we've probably had the situation to where there's been a multiple offer situation. And if you're a seller, you've probably received multiple offers. There's such a demand here for people moving here with a lack of inventory. People aren't putting their houses on the market maybe because they're scared. Um, not saying that's like a bad thing, but they're obviously having hesitations, reservations because of what's going on in the world. Trust me, totally, I get it. Stay put, you're comfortable at house, you wanna do it. Um, but for those individuals that are interested in selling, definitely is now a time to consider it. So <clears throat> inventory for the month of May, um, active, these are active listings, not under contract, not pending, not contingent, was pretty much 8,900. Last year was 11,820 active for that same month. Now in the month of May, just over 7,000. 7, Last year, 11,300. So as you can see, there's a huge difference compared from 2020 to 2019. Uh, for the average homes that are on the market active for people to actually go out there and make offers on. Now, go back to the question, Josh, is now a good time to sell? Well, based off of the numbers, yeah, I would say that there's definitely some demand out there that if you have the ability to and you want to, consider it. Yeah, see what you can do, see if you wanna take out some equity, maybe you wanna move into that, big, that bigger house or maybe you wanna downsize or maybe this is the time to relocate because we don't know how low interest rates are gonna stay like this. And we don't know if this demand is gonna stay here forever because things are so changing so much within the world. It's absolutely crazy. But I hope these stats give you a better feel and better sense if you are on the fence or if you wanna have a discussion, let me know. Happy to always sit down with you. I'll come to your house. I'll give you a full presentation on exactly how we do things, how we market it and how we get you 99% to list price. But um, if you have any questions, guys, reach out to me. I'm always here to help.